This hair featured in the video is from comingby.com and this is what the 360 lace frontal looks like before you sew it on onto anything. Um, as soon as I got it, I got super excited and started plucking the hairline. So let me take a, turn it around so I can show you guys. Um, I started customizing it myself. Um, I'm gonna pull some of the hair back and get a little closer so you can check out and see what I did. So as you can see, um, I did quite a bit of plucking. Um, I wanted to mimic my hairline, but then I also wanted it to just look a little more natural. I wanted it to be more gradual and, you know, something that I would be really happy to wear. This is how much hair came out after me plucking it. It looks like a lot, but nah. I think because it's curly is why it looks like it's so much. I think it'll be fine. Now this is the back of the unit. I was kind of disappointed there wasn't baby hairs in the back there, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to make some. Now the overall texture of the hair I was pretty satisfied with. It reminded me a lot of my own hair, which I was very impressed with, and I couldn't wait to make it into a wig. Now the 360 lace closure came with two bundles, and this is me showing you the wefts of the hair. And this is me running my fingers through it, so that you can see that there's no tangles, that there's no matting, that there's no shedding. I was really happy with the quality of the hair because it reminded me so much of my own. Now they even threw in a wig cap which is awesome because I totally forgot to buy one. Now let me show you guys how I customize the hairline. What you're going to do is you're going to pull the hair back and uh, make sure that you have something to hold it back with. <laughs> and then you're going to use some T-pins to hold it on because you don't want it flipping off. So this is my little cushion. I got it from Michael's and I'm obsessed with it because it reminds me of something my grandmother had and I never left hers alone. So here I am in adulthood with my own. So you're going to pin it down in the front, on the sides, the other side, in the back, just to make sure that it's secure so that you, when you start plucking at it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Now you see, I've done a lot of plucking and I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done, but there are little spots that are a little too thick for my liking, so I'm gonna go in and show you guys how I plucked it. First, you're gonna section off some hair in the very front. You don't wanna pluck the hair in the very front because actually, if you look at hairlines, it's usually just behind the baby hairs is where it kind of thins out. So you're gonna pluck that, I mean, push that out the way, <laughs> clip it out the way, and then you're gonna take a section and you're going to thin out that small section. So I'm pulling out a little bit of a coil. Sometimes if the hair is curly, it's a lot easier because they already come in little bunches and groups and you're just gonna make those bunches and groups a little scarce, you know? So this little guy is what we're going to thin out. So you're going to grab your tweezers and you're going to thin it out. Now it looks like I'm plucking away insanely. Please do not do that. It only looks like I'm doing that because I sped up the video for time purposes. So let's flip over to the other side so that I can show you what I did in a slower motion so you can have a better idea and not create bald spots because you don't want a bald spot in your wig. It's going to take way more work than it should. So here's a section that I'm grabbing here and I'm going to pluck away at this section. But first I'm gonna, you know, clip away the front because, you know, I already told you what to do about the front. So you're gonna grab your little section, like so. And I like to finger comb it lightly so that it's just easier to pluck and I can pick out the hairs individually. And then you're going to grab your tweezers and you're going to pluck no more than two or three hairs at a time and you're just going to thin it out watching your section get thinner and thinner until you start to like what it looks like and once you start to look bleh, once you start to like what it's looking like you're gonna pull down and get rid of the excess hair I like to separate the coils around the sections that I am plucking and thinning out just so that I can have a, bite and a better idea of what the density is in that area so that I don't over pluck and I also like to pull the hair back so I can see if I'm finished or not. So I'm pretty satisfied with what this section is looking like and I'm playing around with it just making sure that I don't need to pluck anymore. Now to create those cute little curly whirlies at the back neckline so you, when you wear it up you can do your thing. I, I like to call them curly whirlies. I, I know they probably have a real official name, but what's more fun than saying curly whirly? I'll wait. Go ahead. Comment something more fun than saying curly whirly. Now you want to make sure that you're not taking too much hair down to create this baby hair. You just want a thin little section, not a big thick section. And then you're going to grab your trusty rusty eyebrow razor. I love these. I think these are really good with making little baby hairs because it's a lot harder to 
shave too much hair with these because the razor is a lot smaller and these are like 99 cents and then like the other razors are like 4.99 so let's let's say yay to saving a few bucks here and there you know so uh you see me here i'm separating the pieces making sure that they're not too thick and making sure that they don't come too long i'm also being very careful because I don't want to overcut and over uh, thin out my little sections because once they're too thin, they're too thin. So I'm going to gather the hair up and pull it up and try to curl one down. And I'm noticing I don't really like that. It doesn't look like I did anything to it. So I'm going to go back and slice it up some more and bang, there we go. Up next, I will show you how to bleach those knots to get even more of a realistic looking hairline. So yes, check out that video. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you want to see more of. I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.